what we know is that sometime after five, about 5.45, there was a very unfortunate incident here at the halfway tree police station. What we know as a fact is that Detective Sergeant was in the process of transporting a, a businessman from the court because he was attending court on a matter, taking him to his office. Sometime during the journey from the court to his office, the, um, he attacked the detective sergeant. A tussle ensued. During the tussle, another police officer saw what was happening and intervened. During that process, the businessman pulled the firearm from the officer and he immediately fired a shot. Um, sergeant, sergeant was hit and later died. What is, what is we, understand, we understand that the, the, the businessman then turned the firearm at himself. They were both taken to hospital where they were pronounced dead. As it relates to the identity of the officer, we cannot officially name him at, name him at this point because um, our chief chaplain along with the chaplaincy team, they are trying to make contact with the family. And the last time I spoke with him, is they are not yet officially informed. So as soon as they're informed, we'll be able to give his identity afterwards. As it relates to the businessman, we can, we can name him because the unfortunate thing is that his family was at the station at the time of the incident. And he has been identified as Dian Singh. He's a businessman that is well known, um, Dian Singh Auto. So that is what we are able to share at this time. And just to say that we have here a number of persons who are supporting the police officers here. It's a very unfortunate information. We have the leadership of the Jamaica Constabular Force and we have our various um, stakeholders just supporting and uh, also our minister came to lend some support to the police officers here. So as you would be aware, it's a very um, emotional situation right now. You know, we all know the detective sergeant is 47 years old, a veteran detective in the Jamaica Constabulary Force for many years, very hard working. And we never anticipated anything like this. So we are treating with it emotionally. Um, Indicom was informed. We also have the inspector general that's here because it was a shooting incident. So it warrants an investigation. So that's about what we know just to know and can share.